called the big stick. So just go to line. You can talk about more about this. So this is where the water is coming in naturally, under the ground, this shape. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, as I mentioned, this is the, you can say, the energetic spine. Tables like the organs connected to the spine, uh, and normally this is what we do, do unconsciously. So we put all of our. Um, so if we have a dynamic garden structure, we are planting uh, the plants there where the soil can feed that most effectively, and, and the food can feed our. So we unconsciously doing the right thing when we are not uh, forced to do in line. And, and this is the trick. And this is all coming to us. All this, this knowledge, you can say that, is coming to us through the water. So the water is telling us where to plant. And even when we are barefoot, we are much more connected to with the, with the soil. And <laughs> we just feel it. Where to plant those? And and even when we go out, going out to plant the meadows and these kind of things, we just throwing out the seeds without thinking and or, or calculating and measuring anything. Because the nature will solve that. And, and the permaculture is letting the nature to do the job. This is the trick. And, and yes. The water is a channel you can have this sensibility. So there is an underground flow here which is an energy energy source and we need food for our plantation and that's what we created here. So the food is the first thing how we can grow something which is feed your productive plantation and the next one is the energy source. So the next really the next thing what we have to set up we have to set up a top walkway which is gonna be on control and that's we using the a-frame so i gonna need two people who is work with the a-frame and two people who is have a shovel and one is the shovel and one is the rake and then start from one point that end or this end and then start to be leveling up this i gonna be with th that group and then and i showing for how and through in this big sticks that's gonna be your next uh, contour line so the highest boundary is there and the lowest point is there of the highest boundary and you remember the lowest point of your highest boundary it gives you a longest highest contour and everything above that it's gonna be higher and everything uh, uh, below it's gonna be lower but this is the key of the place everything which is flowing here there has to be on level to can feed each of the vegetation doesn't matter this way it's flowing in that point or this point when this is level it's gonna be equalizing a feed, food source for for well, the water is going to be equalizing themselves and that's the food source for the, the, the growing place. So, i really just show you the atrium first. Are you calibrated this? So, that's so we start from, who'd like to play with this? We will, we will change after. So, <coughs> what do you think? Which is the lower way? Which is the higher? Which is the higher and which is the lower point? 
that one is the higher. higher yeah so when you leave this below so the middle is kind of where you measuring and after you can go up a little bit and up a little bit and we're gonna be mulch it like this much and by over time when this mulch is breaking down that the settlement of the water they're gonna be equalizing but as much as we can we make it on control okay so start maybe in that corner from here okay this is gonna be your reference point You don't need to take an overall um, from the pole you have in the corner, you need to take your starting point from there. That's lower, mm. so we can take up but much more harder to backfilling. Mm. So we can take and then take the materials and put it in there. Mm. We're going to be scraping going lower, mm. we're going to have more materials for that to put in that way. But just, so say, but just say if by chance that's still too deep down, you're too low there, or maybe that's high. You are now, so that's high. Then you come out here, you're, you're, uh, it'll be telling you to backfill the path in in the other end. Well, mm. here, even in the middle, anywhere. What I felt this one is the lowest point, so that's lower. Okay, so when we going that way, yeah, yeah. it's hard to be get the materials somewhere like digging down because yeah, yeah. when we have plus materials, we always can spread it. Okay. Yeah. No, I just thought there was a point lower here in the middle. In the yeah, yeah, they're gonna be lower. Yeah, so I so well, but that's lower, like in the other uh, top. Overall, yeah. Overall, so I started in the lower point, and I have to be start kind of one end. It's better to be started in one end, and then maybe we have to backfilling in in. But I was my feel is just a little bit. Yeah. It's only about few meters. Yeah, yeah. And the end we do need to be scraped on. I'm sure. Yeah. But we need more materials. The much materials what we can piling up here. Mm. It's gonna be just an energy source. So somebody, Michelle know very well this, and uh, two people. Also, one more thing in the A-frame. When you going in the next one, you're not going like this way. Because if if this calibration, it's a little bit, say half a centimeter, not hundred percent. You go 10 steps, that's gonna be 5 centimeters lower. Mm. So the next one, I put it here. And you see, I lift it up. Because if I turn it like this, mm. it's already lower, I just drill down. So I have to lift it up, put it in the same point. And this is actually just a... Uh, There's a noticeable difference in there. It's a good yeah. bit. So about nine centimeters. If you need the material, yeah. you take it from the footpath or the bump from here. Yeah, okay. mm. And it's really more or less because we're gonna be heavily mulched that about this much. So when that water coming in, the gonna be water can be stay that much, but you still can work in the mulch. And this mulch is gonna be breaking down. And because you cover the footpath, you're not gonna be have the end of it deep germination so that's two three people with the shovel and the and the rake and the next one we follow in this control line so did you see something not practical in this bed did you see what he did yeah you don't have access <laughs> so we were talking about before lunch and where do you think is the best to put in the access In the middle. Yeah. So I will put one axis there and one axis here. Because you're gonna have a lot of actually weed or organic materials coming there. Probably piling up in this bed. And we need an axis here. And we need an axis in there. So somebody can do that too. So is the axis not. Um, the axis not be where an old spine has in the middle, but it's then 
if the water is running through the actual clay, it's defeating the purpose of the water getting through the bed and bringing the fertility down. In the high, the food pot is not in control at the moment. Okay. So we don't so know. So the food has to be dug down as well? Uh, no. I will leave that because everything from the tunnel mm. is going to be end of it in this bed. The sun is, the sun is the water coming in this, mm. this level. Yeah. We're going to be stop it, save it, spread it. If there's a lot of water coming here, that's going to be the same month as that because we spread it yeah. and sink it into the next bed. Yeah, the under the yeah the path. Yeah, yeah. So that's why we has to be make it that level. So it won't be like a river going down. No, that's that's so we slow it down. Doesn't matter how fast they're coming in here, we're gonna be spread it and soak it in the next one and soak it into the next one. Does that make sense? And actually, we can create it. We can play with it when that the top trail is done. We can play with it for the water to come here, backfilling. That point that overflowing to the bed because the next bed is going to be like that. We're going to be have beds this way, following the water line. So this fertility could be sent into the end, soak it into that bed, come back there. So the longer pot that you can create, it's all up to you when you uh, setting up your overflow. That's the next one for the overflow, but at the moment I think it's just for one part race it should be basically created and especially between the two tunnels so we can go turning with the wheelbarrow yeah well yeah there's, there's seven people same like this so that somebody can do it and <coughs> probably this is the Specialist for measuring. To one twenty to this way and uh, seventy for this way. Okay, so the inside bed and the 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 big bed. It's gonna be one twenty. I think this has to be measured first and then that. That's the 70 the pass? Come over this. Yeah. This has to be measured first yeah, and then the other pass. Then once yeah. this is level, we know the level of the other pass. Yeah. 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 This yeah. kind of makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So. Everybody needed this group? Yes, please. Uh, yeah. 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 Here there is a okay. little hole. Okay. Yeah. You see this part here? 
This is gonna be a perfect. Yeah. So all this. Yeah, that's the part. All this going all in here. Zones. Yeah, yeah. So the path is in here. Mm. Oh. Gonna have a bomb bomb in here. Pop up the bomb. All lines of path. Yeah, this oh, yeah. is the this and there's right? gonna be another path in there. So pick this out. I think you've got the right idea. You need to pick this out. Not over here. Over there. So four left. Pick two weeks to six. I'm just worried now because of their hatred. Yeah, yeah. And rakes and things and other dogs. Oh, don't worry. Yeah, because at one centimeter it's not that precise enough. So okay, so a, a few up the one twenty. Yeah, can you line up the one twenty? From here to there, so we know. Yeah, and then we go to the so shall I just scrape this level or leave that there? Uh, just leave it there. Just leave yeah. Are gone, yeah. yeah so. 